It can feel like a huge responsibility if a child does decide to disclose abuse to you. The most important thing to remember is not to deal with it alone. There's plenty of support available and you must ask for help. When we're working or volunteering with children, it's important that we take our responsibilities seriously and set a good example of behaviour. Always remember to act in the best interests of the child. Using the following guidelines, you can be confident that you're acting in the right way. If a child discloses abuse to you, you must record it and take appropriate action immediately. Meetings with individual children or young people should take place as openly as possible. Remember, it's important to respect the rights and needs of the child. Don't spend time alone with children away from others without good reason. Doors shouldn't be locked. Don't allow abusive peer activities such as bullying, ridiculing and racist comments. Don't engage in rough physical games, inappropriate touching or make sexually suggestive comments even in fun. Physical punishments are not acceptable in any circumstances. If you see or hear anything that another adult does or says to a child that causes you concern, try and address this, ideally in an open way with the individual directly. If this is difficult or they take no notice, contact your designated person and ensure the child is safe. Make sure there's sufficient monitoring of children on an activity or in a crash. Make sure that all information about children is stored safely and returned to the project leader at the end of the event or activity. Don't take photos of children with cameras or mobile phones. If a distressed child needs physical contact for reassurance or comfort, this should only take place if appropriate and in the best interest of the child. Very young or children with complex needs may need more physical touch than others. Only carry out personal care tasks if the child is unable to do it themselves and if you've been asked to do so by NDCS and are comfortable with this. If you need to provide this kind of help in an emergency, record it and be sure to tell the parents. Restrictive physical intervention should only be used in situations where it's necessary to prevent injury or damage to a child. All incidents must be recorded and passed on to the event leader. I hope that you found this information useful and that you feel more confident in spotting the signs of abuse about using appropriate behaviour when supervising children and knowing what to do if you suspect abuse or a child discloses to you. Remember you can find full copies of the NDCS Child Protection Policy and the Guidance for Safer Working Practice on the NDCS website. We are all involved with the NDCS because we're dedicated to breaking down the barriers for deaf children and making sure they're properly safeguarded. By following the guidelines in this DVD, the NDCS Child Protection Policy and the Guidance for Safer Working Practice document, we're creating an environment for children to feel safe, develop and have fun.